I'm Mike, and today I'm going to be making the most beautiful, light, refreshing dish. It's a salmon ceviche. Now, if you saw me on BBC's MasterChef, I made this for Dean Edwards and Stephen Wallace, and Greg and John, obviously, and you know, they loved this dish, they said great things about it. Uh, I've gone back to the drawing board and I've, I've kept true to the original, but I've added some things as well. And I know some people said they love the ceviche, so I'm going to make it, I'm going to show you how to make it. And it's another super simple recipe, super simple thing that people are scared of because it sounds fancy. Trust me, you can do this at home, okay? As I've said before, I'm not a professional chef. I'm just a self-taught cook who is well greedy, all right? It's easy. I can show you how to make ceviche. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to get a beautiful fleshy bit of salmon. Yesterday I went for a walk, I popped into my local town and there was a fishmonger that I go to all the time and I needed some fleshy salmon and it cost me like less than a fiver for this beautiful chunk. They did it for me, they filleted it, they skinned it, perfect. Just ask them, don't be afraid. Again, this isn't one of those things that you have to avoid doing because you don't know how to do all of it. Your fishmongers are your friends, your butchers are your friends, they can do the hard work for you, okay? Now, simple. Ceviche is scary because it is technically raw fish, okay? No one's cooking. I'm not going to turn an oven or a hob on at all in this video, all right? All I'm going to do is cure it. Now, that means I'm going to use a lot of citrus juice, a lot of lime juice in this case, and I'm going to leave it to rest for about 30 minutes, and that juice, that salmon, I'm going to leave it to rest for like 30 minutes, and that lime juice is going to cure that salmon and make it safe to eat, okay? So, the way we do that is we want to get nice small chunks of salmon. So you just want to slice it. Just take some time and slice up that salmon into nice thin bits. And as I say, we want this in really small bits. You don't want this kind of mushy fishiness in this bowl, okay? You want small little chunks, bite-sized bits of salmon cured in that beautiful lime juice. We're going to do a little Oh God, we're gonna do a little like soy and wasabi and ginger and garlic dressing in here. You can throw coriander in it or cilantro. Um, I'm not going to because Emma is um, fussy and she doesn't like it. So I'm gonna use parsley instead. You can use coriander. If you're one of those people that doesn't like coriander, don't use it, it's fine. I'm not judging you, no one no one cares that you don't like coriander, just don't use it. And if you're not sure if your friend likes coriander or not, don't worry. They'll make sure they tell you at every possible time. I think Emma tells me every other day she doesn't like coriander. Emma, do you like coriander? No. There you go. So, chunking this into small chunks chunking this into small chunks. What a terrible sentence. <laughs> we're gonna slice the salmon up into small chunks and then we're gonna cure it. We're gonna do a beautiful avocado guacamole in here. We're gonna have some pickled radish. And it's gonna be bang. It's, so it's a beautiful starter. It's a beautiful kind of dish to have if you're having a glass of wine outside. Um, oh, I might get a glass of wine with this. Oh, excited. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm already excited to have a glass of wine. Lockdown. If it gets difficult to chop, when we get to the end, it's fine. Just find a way to make it work for you, okay? You'll probably get like a good four portions out of this for like a starter or like a, a, a snack, you know, like a drink. Maybe some cocktails with a glass of wine. Maybe when people are allowed back in your gardens for the summer in the UK, you can rustle up some ceviche. This salmon, you can see those small little chunks that we have chopped. So, salmon is in lime juice, it's in the fridge, it's curing. We want that in there for like 30 minutes, okay? You don't want to overdo it because it's going to break apart. Then you're gonna get woolly salmon, whatever that means. 
Um, but now we're going to pickle some radish. Another thing that's super quick, um, it takes about 30 minutes to pickle, then you can have it in the fridge for about two to three weeks and just munch on it. Really simple. Get your vessel, fill it half with white wine vinegar, half with water, some salt, any flavorings you want in there. Sometimes I put mustard seeds in there, sometimes I put some like dry chili flakes, whatever you want. Today, I, I just want the... Today, I just want the radish flavor in here. So I've got my white wine vinegar, my water, my salt, and these very finely chopped bits of radish. I'm gonna pop them all in here. If you are putting other, other flavors in here, like your mustard seeds, your dried chili, whatever it is, then cook, cook out the vinegar and the water and let those flavors infuse. Put them on the stove, heat them up, don't boil them. Just heat them up for a bit, let those flavors infuse, take it off the heat, let it cool down, and then do it. But I'm not putting any in, so I'm not going to. But you get the idea. Really simple, pickled radish for weeks. Done, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. Our radish is pickling in the fridge, that's going really well. And now we're gonna make our kind of avocado guacamole thing at the bottom. Two avocados, ripe and ready. I know I'm a millennial, I'm a hipster. Get these, you don't want these too ripe, okay? There's nothing worse than an avocado that is just mush. No one wants that. So, boom, boom, get rid of it always scares me. These avocados are perfect. They're not too mushy. We're going to chop them up. We're not going to mush them. Because you want nice chunks of avocado in this, okay? You don't want baby food, I think is what Stephen Bollock called it. In a good way. He said it wasn't baby food. So. So. With our spoon, we're going to pop out these avocado halves. I see so many like terrifying TikToks of people peeling avocados and stuff. Please don't do it. Just cut it in half and it pops out really easily. Be careful for the little seedy bit, just pop that out. You don't want that in your guacamole or avocado base that we're making. So we're going to chop these into chunks. Really gorgeous, really simple. Avocado is this beautiful flavor that lends itself so well to salmon and fish like that. It's one of those things that I have in a weekly shop all the time. Nice chunks of avocado in here. Boom, in this bowl. Beautiful. We're gonna take our red onion. We're gonna slice halfway through like that. We're not gonna go all the way. Do it a few times, like that. I'm using the same knife as my avocado, which is all going in the same place. Get over it. Don't at me. Slice all the way down, and then chop. It's a bit messy, it's not perfect, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. It's fine. Ends. Now we have these beautiful finely sliced flight. Now we have these beautiful finely diced red onion. Throw your knife it one more time. Throw it in to here. I think uh, guacamole was the first thing I taught you how to make, Emma. It was, yes. Yeah. How often do you make it now? As much as I can. As much as you can. See? Simple. Works. This is kind of a guacamole. I'm gonna put yogurt in it and it's gonna make everybody so angry. <laughs> Calm down, okay? Just roll with me, this is how I make it. 
The reason I'm putting yogurt with it, I'll explain my thinking, okay? I don't want this to be a mush, so I purposely use an avocado that's not squishy and ripe. So it doesn't give out the, the green kind of smoothness from a super ripe avocado, it's kind of that chunk. So I'm using yogurt to smooth it out and to give it that kind of dairy smooth finish, okay? Calm down. Nice pinch of salt, salt bay. A nice, you ready? A spoonful of natural yogurt. You can feel the anger come through the camera. Go on down. Mixing that all together. And you see what that yogurt's doing? You see how that's happening? It's making it creamy, it's making it smooth without making it mushy, which is the worst thing in a guacamole. So, beautiful, seasoned, avocado, red onion, yogurt, salt, it's done. We're almost there, we're almost ready to serve. So delicious. Our avocado that has been made is beautiful, it's creamy and it's ready to eat. Our radish has been pickled, and it's beautiful. This is all great, but here is where we're gonna level it up. This is a beautiful kind of South American dish. I'm gonna throw a bit of an Asian twang in there, and I'm gonna make a dressing made up of ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and wasabi paste. Just a little bit. It's a Japanese horseradish. It's a bit spicy, but it's delicious. I'm just gonna do it straight in this bowl. I'm gonna strain off some of this lime juice, because we don't need a pool of lime juice in here. I'm gonna strain it, then I'm gonna dress it. So I'm gonna dress this ceviche. It's been drained, most of the lime juice is gone, and now I'm just gonna do it in this bowl. If this isn't a measurement thing, do it till it looks right. It's one of those things that you'll just feel, okay? I'm gonna kind of roughly tell you what I'm doing. So I have this beautiful dark soy sauce. Hello, a couple of drops of that. I'm gonna chuck in just the tiniest amount of wasabi. See how tiny that is? That tiny amount of wasabi is gonna pack a punch, okay? Whack that in there. We're gonna get the best kitchen tool that ever existed, the microplane. Gonna get this and we're gonna grate about a quarter of a clove of garlic and a nice little chunk of ginger. Now, Soy sauce is very, very salty, so we don't need any more salt in this. We don't need to season it. I'm gonna get this ginger and this garlic. Oh, can you, it's filling the kitchen with smell, and it's banging. Straight in there. Some sesame seeds. Some white sesame seeds. Some black sesame seeds. I'm feeling, it's getting to the point where I'm, I'm excited. I'm smelling. <laughs> I've made my bowl dirty in excitement. I'll clean it. Mix that all up. Make sure that wasabi gets mixed in. That dressing covers all of this salmon. And then we're gonna get ready to plate up. So, we are ready to plate up this dish. Gonna get our ring mold. We're getting fancy. We're showing off, you know. It's a dinner party, people are over. People have a wine outside and you're showing off. You've got all this ready in advance. Take a nice big spoonful of this avocado mixture. I wish I had like a fancy ring mold, but I just got one that I make cookies with. Because, you know, who has time to get like a million versions of the same thing? That in there, that avocado is in there. Now, it's beautifully dressed. <laughs> I'm so excited. Eat this. Salmon in there with the sesame seeds and the dressing. Now, we're gonna take our pickled radish. Scooch them out. They're in that white wine vinegar. And we're gonna decorate. You can decorate any way you want. You want to get fancy, do it. If you just want to throw it on, do it. 
but it's one of those things that's so easy to make. A dollop of this banging creme fraiche. This is another thing that when you buy it in a supermarket, it kind of sucks. When you buy it in like a proper farm shop, it's thick and it's delicious. Let's take a nice spoonful from it. Whack it on there. Bit of parsley. <laughs> Salmon ceviche, done just like in the MasterChef kitchen, but done at home. Really tasty, really, really delicious, really simple. Guys, thank you for watching. This is gonna be so tasty. You're gonna love it. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, subscribe. It really does do me a favor. It really does do me a solid. Um, I really appreciate that. Check out some other videos. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments, but most of all, Enjoy this. <laughs> it's so good. It's kind of spicy from that wasabi. And it's smooth with a creme fraiche, like a T-Rex. I'm excited. Um, and a fresh avocado, that pickled radish at the top. That soy sauce dressing just lifts it up to a complete different level. Okay, I'm done. Cut.